How's it going, you two? Welcome to my reptile room tour 2021. Today I'll be showing you all six of my reptiles, ranging from my snake to my crested geckos to the Acne Monitor and my Leachianus gecko, and also my leopard gecko. So let's get to the first one. So this is my Aki Monitor's cage. Aki Monitor's name is Ash. She's about two years old, but I'm pretty sure she's fully grown up. Hello, Ash, how's it going? You want, you want to come out? She's very friendly. Also very dirty. Go back. So this is her cage. It's a five foot by three foot by three foot enclosure, PVC, from reptile cages. I've had it for two or three months, give or take. It's got like 12 inches of substrate in the back. Yeah, 12 inches. It's obviously low on the front so it doesn't spill over. You know, get the substrate stuck in these on. Um, these gaps, I don't know what they're called, wherever the plexiglass slides into, that gets really annoying. So that's why I have it lower in the front, higher in the back. And so far, she seems to be really liking the enclosure, don't you, Ash? Oh, hello, I know. She loves it and she always wants to come out. Very curious she is. Uh -uh, no. No, hello. No. Come on. You go. And she dropped them. Yeah, this is uh, actually totally nothing much else to really say. Got the cold side heat lamp, hot side with 75 watt and 60 watt. I forgot what the, the highest bolt was for a second. Nothing too crazy, just like a platform out of PVC and a bunch of cork logs that she loves to go in. That's, that's pretty much it for her enclosure. She's got the vents in the back and the UVB bowl. Can you get off my head? Please? Can you, can you get off my head? Come on. Come get off. Come on. Very, very hectic. Oh, no, now you're on the camera. Go. Now the next enclosure in my reptile room tour is my Crested Gecko Toast, who I believe is a Harlequin, but my friend gave me her. So I'm not sure. Let's see if she wants to come out. This is um, her enclosure, by the way. Get her. Uh, 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 uh. Come in, come in. Please, please. Right now she's fired down though. Not as bright and colorful. This is Toast. My adult female crested gecko. You wanna hop back in? There we go. Now this is my second crested gecko's enclosure, Butter. I don't know what morph she is, she's just yellow. That's, that's all I really know. Let's see if I can find her. So, this is Butter. So, a little bit bigger. I think she's a pretty big crested gecko. You gonna hop? Maybe. Yeah, she's pretty big for her size. I don't know what morph she is. So, I wanna know is that she's yellow. She's got some 
little Dalmatian spots there. So if you know what more she is, let me know down in the comments. I have no idea. Ooh. As she hops in the camera. Come on. Yeah, she's very anxious. She doesn't like being handled for too long. So I'm gonna put her back right now. But this is Butter's enclosure. Oh. There she goes. Now this is my fourth enclosure. It has my Lichianus gecko, who I named Cyclone. See, she's up on the ledge right here. Cage is a little dirty, oh my gosh. It's kind of difficult for me to clean the cage. She doesn't really like coming out too much, but I'm gonna try and get her out for the video. I see some enclosure, some branch support logs, feeding ledge, another ledge. Nothing too crazy. I might uh, upgrade her enclosure in the future, but. I don't know her age, I just know I got her as an adult and I didn't know her age, the place I got her. And I've had her for at least two years, maybe three years now, so she's, old. she's probably the oldest reptile I have here in my whole um, room full of them. But I'll be back and see if I can get her out. So this is Cyclone. I got her out. She's a decent size for early giant. It's not really big, but I wouldn't say too small either, probably around average size. She's a female. And this is her. She doesn't really move around too much. Like I said before, she doesn't like really being held that much, so she, she kind of just tolerates it, so. This is another one, just like my Crested Gecko, I won't have her out for too long, because she gets all cranky. I'm gonna put her back right now, Let's see her. Give me a jump? Maybe? No? There she goes. Right behind the whole she goes. That's a little cyclone enclosure. Now here's my upper gecko blizzard. I've had him for approximately three-ish years now. This is an enclosure. It's probably the most boring looking one out of them. I definitely plan on upgrading him next. Add some substrate, possibly a bigger enclosure, probably a bigger enclosure, but we'll see. There he is. He's going, he's a Max Snow Leopard Gecko. So come out, buddy. There he is. Pretty good size for a Leopard Gecko, he's a male. Come on, buddy, let me go back. This is closer to the enclosure. Like I said, I hope to upgrade them in the future. Now this is the last enclosure of the reptile room tour. This is my all python storm. He's not out right now because this is the day I'm filming this, but I'm gonna take him out and see if he wants to come out for a little bit. He has a pretty basic cage himself, just a few hides and you know cork bond for when he sheds. This is my ball python. He just started shedding literally. I just picked him up and just realized he was shedding. So I'm gonna put him right back, but my Mojave ball python, the one that started it all. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know, leave a like, subscribe, stay for some more content. And I'll see you guys another day.